بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس سیشن از اباؤٹ لینگویج اینڈ آئیڈینٹی آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ یو وڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا انٹر ریلیشن شپ آف دا ٹو کانسیپٹس ان دا بیک ڈراپ آف سوشل لنگوسٹکس ویل اف یو ٹیک دا پوزیشن دیٹ لنگوسٹک کمیونٹیز آر ناٹ ہوموجینیس اینڈ کانسینسول دے آر ہیٹروجینیس دے آر ڈفرنٹ دے ہیو ورائٹیز ود ان دیم دین دس یو نو difference this this difference in the nature of communities this kind of sometimes what we may call conflict in uh, the the communities this leads to certain issues this leads to certain issues of power um how you know uh, these communities exert power on each other how they try to be different from each other how they try to create their own um what i would say own self so this is what leads towards the idea of identity in each community this is relevant you know directly very much relevant to our understanding of the relationship between language and identity because what is identity identity is a kind of um uh, um the sense of self and that sense of self can be of the individual can be of a group can be of a nation can be um of um any kind of uh, division of people where they differentiate themselves where they separate themselves and where they you know kind of uh, make themselves prominent in relation to other such individuals or other such groups i would like to refer to some um, early perspectives uh, in social linguistics uh, with reference to language and identity here i am going to talk about bodio who notes the value ascribed to speech uh, that cannot be understand uh, understood apart from the person who speaks and the person who um, speaks cannot be understood until and unless you understand the pa- the person who is listening to all that in that whole context of social relationships so you this is the addresser this is the addressee surrounded in the social context and all the three together you know make a sense of what is said and why it is said and how it is said so every time we speak we are actually kind of negotiating and we are renegotiating and we are kind of creating our identities we are creating our sense of self in relation to the larger social network in which we are living um simply speaking i would say it is our language choices that we make that we consciously or unconsciously make that we determine who we are in terms of identity in the the social setup in relation to other individuals and in relation to the complete society and you know in all this process we try to recognize the relationship uh, of uh, our self with the community and with other people both in terms of time and in terms of space well when we talk of the idea of negotiating identities what is it impl- that is implicated in the negotiation of, of identities this is something important there are certain factors that contribute towards negotiating identities towards shaping our identities for example our gender being a male or a female our race our social class from belonging to a particular social class upper class middle class lower class or our class you know in terms of a particular other um, ethnicity etc uh, you know belonging to a particular religion for example uh, our sexual orientation how do we see ourselves as males or as females um what is our age uh, and how do we see that age what is our age identity um whether i think of myself as old or i think of myself as not so old this is going to affect my um you know um, linguistic choices when it comes to language and identity issues weden 1997 um affirms it is through language that a person negotiates a sense of self within and across a range of sites 
at different points in time and it is through language that a person gains access to or is denied access to powerful social networks that that person is surrounded with so you know the way i use language would allow me to be a part of a particular kind of um, a uh, social group and the kind of language that i use would restrict me would stop me from being a part of a particular social group because i would not be identified with them through my language choices these linguistic choices my dear students i would say are double edged swords because they function in a positive and productive way to give people a sense of belonging they on the other hand also define us as us versus them so you know they help us being related to and they also help us to be differentiated uh, from others so you know overall the idea of identity is of great significance in terms of language choices when it comes to sociolinguistics